Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Weekly Light here, and today I'm going to be covering the mushroom in Pit People. So first up, let's go over its stats. So it has medium weight, 11 damage, medium defense, medium blocking capabilities, and a very low dodge chance. It can move two steps, and it has five hearts, which I've found to be about 100 health from my calculations. Um, it has a poison damage badge, and a poison defense badge. When it becomes the hero, its weight goes down, its damage goes up to 12, it gets higher defense and block, um, it can now move three steps, and it has five and a half hearts, which is about 110 HP. Um, it receives very big buffs from being the hero, unlike a lot of other characters. Um, its items are only cosmetic. Defensively, the mushroom is pretty strong due to its uh, good health pool for only taking up one slot. Um, it's immune to poison damage, but it's weak to mallets. It has low blocking capabilities, so it's protected from arrows and ranged units. Offensively, it has an area of effect poison damage attack that deals about 4-7 to seven to every enemy around it. And it has lingering poison damage that stays in the tiles around it that deals damage on later turns. Um, the poison damage is super effective on cupcakes, gnomes, and mascots, but zombies resist it. Electrobots and mushrooms complete are completely immune to it, so a mushroom will then headbutt it, which is a strong uh, attack that, that does like 10 damage, but it only hits one target. So now let's get to the strategy of using the mushroom. So the mushroom hits everything around it, which also includes teammates, so it's best if you don't have any of your own characters around it and surround it purely with enemies. That's why it's good to pair it with a uh, gnome, which can launch it into enemy lines right off the bat, so it can easily only hit enemies. It might be the best choice for the hero due to how it gets buffs to almost all of its stats and most importantly goes up from 2 to 3 spaces, which is a big jump. It's like a 50% increase in movement speed. Um, it punishes enemies for grouping up, especially like units that like to tank in the front lines will no longer be so happy to be there surrounding a mushroom. Um, the lingering toxic clouds can cause enemies to avoid certain areas, which could block off choke points, but most people will probably just push through them and take bonus damage. Um, I would recommend using this uh, mushroom because of how powerful it is and how tanky it is. It can last a while and since it lasts long, it can deal a lot of damage if you position it correctly. So don't forget to check out my other videos and like, favorite, and subscribe. So uh, one last thing, I'm trying to make a, a type matchup chart like one you see for a game like Pokemon or something, but for this game. And so I've made a rough one, but I sort of need your help to check it for errors. So if you see an error in it, uh, please leave a comment below. Um, there will be a link to it in the description, so uh, don't forget to check that out.